everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on Lexicon by Max Berry. This is the book that was sent to me through the Book Riot Quarterly box. I'll have a video to my unboxing in case you guys are interested in watching that. This is a science fiction-y type book. You are following two storylines. The first one follows Emily and she is a 17 year old runaway. She gets recruited by this group that sets up a special school where instead of learning, you know, normal educational based things like history and math and things like that, you are basically learning the power of persuasion. The second storyline you are following is about the character Will who is suddenly kidnapped because he is seen as being an outlier. One of the things that you learn in this book is that people can be categorized into different segments and based on what your segment is there is a certain word slash sound combination that can kind of unlock your brain and compromise you and let the person who unlocked your brain basically control your actions and it turns out that Will is an outlier so he doesn't fall into any segment and it doesn't seem like he can be compromised. This book jumps around in time quite a bit so you are constantly jumping back and forth between following Will and Emily and you are also jumping around in time as you find out just history about their own stories as well as history about the organization and some of the other characters in the book. This was a super interesting book to read and I am super excited that Book Riot sent this book to me because it was so much fun but also really thought-provoking at the same time. This book is really fast-paced and action-packed and it kind of grabs you right from the beginning. This is definitely one of those books where when I wasn't reading the book I was definitely thinking about the book and I was definitely trying to sneak pages of the book into every free crevice of time I could find in my life. There are a lot of really interesting concepts that Max Berry talks about in this book that I think anyone who reads or is aware of word structure or is aware of even just current events and news and things like that would be interested in. One of the things he talks about is just the way words are used and how certain words have certain connotations or evoke certain feelings. The way words can be used to manipulate or change or you know control how people are. This is one of those books where he brings up a lot of ideas and theories that are seen as being really crazy but if you are paranoid or you are a conspiracy theorist you could read this and be like this doesn't feel like it could be completely crazy. There are also a lot of little nuggets of information that are kind of like analysis of the way our current world works which is something that I always find super interesting in books. I quoted one passage of the book on my tumblr and I will have a link to that in the description because the passage is a little bit long. It's just a really interesting passage that I really thought about for a long time after that point and it's the reason why I put it on my tumblr. There is also a sort of mystery thriller aspect to this story that I don't want to talk too much about because this is one of those books where you get pieces of information and you're kind of putting the puzzle together because you jump around in time a lot so you get a little bit of information here and a little bit of information here. I have to say nothing in this book was like super surprising in terms of the mystery aspect but I thought it was just fun to see how it all went together just because it wasn't surprising doesn't mean it still wasn't interesting. In the end I gave this book a four out of five stars. I definitely recommend this to people who want something that's kind of fun. I feel like if if you liked Ready Player One you probably would like this book but if you read a lot of hard science fiction then this isn't going to seem like much to you. One of the drawbacks of this book is the fact that there isn't a lot of world building. There isn't a lot of explanation about why things are the way that they are or explanations in terms of how this whole word manipulation thing works. It just says that this is how it is and so you're kind of just forced to accept that. Personally I'm not someone who needs a significant amount of world building. I'm perfectly happy just sort of being given the rules without needing an explanation of why those rules exist. But that being said there are plenty of things that I would have enjoyed in this book which includes more explanation about the organization behind the academy or even just more backstory in terms of the people who are in power or the other side characters that are in this book. There are a lot of really interesting characters that are introduced in this book and if Max Berry wanted
wanted to make some sort of prequel or companion book that deals with those characters, I would totally be okay with that and would read that in an instant. So yeah, I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. Like I said, I put it on my favorite shelf. This is probably the first book that I've read so far this year that I've really, really dove into and I really just completely loved. So highly recommend this book. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Lexicon by Max Berry. If you have read this book, feel free to leave your comments down below letting me know what you thought of it, or if you have any questions or comments about the book. Otherwise, you can always leave that down below as well. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.